vertigo, ear balance disorder, its causes, symptoms and management. Vertigo is dizziness, that creates the false sense that, you or your surroundings are spinning, or moving. Common causes for vertigo, include. Benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, BPPV. Commonly named as ear balance disorder. Infection. Meniere's disease. Migraine, etc. Benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, BPPV is the most common cause of spinning sensation. It causes, a sudden sensation of spinning. Or like, your head is spinning from the inside. The patient may feel that he is falling or flying. Everything around the patient, may be seen as rotating at high speed. You can have brief periods of mild or intense dizziness, if you have BPPV. Changing the position of the head, may trigger an episode. Other actions that can trigger an episode include Tilting head up, or down Lying down Turning over Bending down Getting up BPPV can definitely be uncomfortable, but it's rarely serious, except when dizziness causes someone to fall. BPPV is the result of a disturbance, inside your inner ear. The semicircular canals, or the tubes inside your ears contain fluid that moves, when you move your head. The semicircular canals are, extremely sensitive to motion. BPPV develops when microscopic crystals of calcium carbonate, that are normally positioned in another area, break free and enter, the semicircular canals. This causes your brain to receive, confusing messages, about your body's position. There are no major risk factors for BPPV, but there's some indication that, it could be an inherited condition. Many people with BPPV, have relatives who also have the same. Females are, more prone to BPPV. But the interesting thing is that, in my experience, females are more amenable to treatment. Relief from symptoms occurs, within 10 to 15 minutes in most females. Non-ionizing radiation, from mobile phones and mobile towers, is an important cause for BPPV. This happens, because the radiation heats up, the otolithic membrane, present adjacent to the semicircular canals, in the inner ear. As a result, the membrane get expanded, and may dislodge the otoliths, present on the surface of the membrane. If the dislodged otolith, happen to enter the semicircular canal, BPPV is the outcome. The symptoms of BPPV may include Vertigo Vomiting Blurred vision Nausea Abdominal discomfort Dizziness Heaviness of head Chest discomfort Palpitation Sweating Lightheadedness Loss of balance Unsteadiness the spinning feeling, which is triggered by head movement, will last less than a minute only. The movement of head in which, the symptoms are triggered depend on, the semicircular canal, in which the otolith is positioned. Abnormal eye movements, called nystagmus, usually accompany the symptoms of BPPV. In some cases of BPPV, patient may develop dehydration, due to excessive vomiting then administration of intravenous fluids may be required. The most interesting aspect of BPPV is that, what the patient is experiencing, will never be appreciated or fathomed, by one who never had BPPV. How is benign positional vertigo diagnosed? Your doctor can diagnose BPPV, by performing a maneuver called, the dix hall pie test. The doctor will hold your head in a certain position while, asking you to rapidly lie down, with your back over a table. They will look for abnormal eye movements, during this test, and they may ask you, whether you're experiencing the spinning sensation. This test is highly traumatizing for the patient, with severe vertigo. The fun is that, doctors, who have experienced the trauma of ear balance can diagnose BPPV by asking a few questions to the patient, 
without doing any physical examination, investigation or laboratory tests. Additional tests might include Caloric stimulation, which involves warming and cooling the inner ear, with water or air to observe eye movements. An MRI of the head. A magnetic resonance angiography, MRA, of the head, which is similar to an MRI. A CT scan of the head. A hearing evaluation. An electronystagmography, ENG, to record eye movement. An electroencephalogram, EEG, to measure brain activity. Medications may include sedative hypnotics, or sleeping aids. Anticholinergics antihistamines. However, medications are often not effective, in treating vertigo, and they never cure BPPV. There are no medicines, for the cure of BPPV. Like analgesics, which reduce the feeling of pain, without curing the pathology, behind the pain. Anti-vertigo medications are, reducing the feeling of vertigo, and not curing the pathology. The anti-vertigo medicines will also cause dizziness by sedating the vestibular center. In higher doses, even the patient shall get sedated. Many major hospitals are resorting to a procedure called transtympanic gentamicin administration. This involves injection of gentamicin, which is highly toxic to the nerves from ear, that is, vestibular and cochlear nerves. The procedure causes damage to these nerves, and may result in, impaired hearing, in that particular ear, and some decrease in the severity of vertigo. Before undergoing this procedure, please consult a physician, performing the otolith repositioning. This may help, in conserving the hearing of the patient. There can be associated tinnitus, or whistling sound, along with BPPV, on the affected side. Usually it will disappear, within a few days after curing BPPV. One has to keep in mind, that, symptoms of BPPV can sometimes be related to other, more serious conditions. Living with BPPV can be challenging. It can affect relationships with friends and family, productivity at work, and quality of life. Patient may go into, acute depression and there may even be suicidal tendencies. BPPV can recur without warning, even after successful treatment. However, while BPPV may sometimes be uncomfortable, it is manageable, and usually improves with time. An experienced physician, will be able to cure BPPV, with a single session, in most of the cases, by a very simple procedure called otolith repositioning. There are only very few doctors performing this procedure. To find out the doctors doing this procedure and for further details, one shall Google search for ear balance doctor or doctor for ear balance. Presence of vomiting may be a hindrance for achieving a cure in the procedure. In such cases, we have to perform the procedure only after controlling the vomiting by medication. Keep in mind that there are ever so many BPPV patients, consuming medicines for years, and are still suffering. Even surgeries are advised, in certain cases of BPPV. There are also many patients, who are undergoing psychiatric treatment, for BPPV. This happens on the assumption that BPPV, is only a feeling. Yes, it is a feeling. But this feeling is, never like one we usually imagine. It is actually a real traumatizing, physical experience to the patient. All are requested to ask any doubts or express their opinion by email or WhatsApp. Please share and subscribe the video, so that more suffering patients may be benefited.